Have you ever thought of what happens to your waste when you put it in a plastic bag and get rid of it? When we inhale toxic air, it first goes into our lungs. So you have cough, you have asthma, you have lung cancer occurring at much higher incidence. But then the toxins don't remain confined to the lungs. They get absorbed from the lungs and they go through the blood to every organ in the body. People staying in polluted cities have much higher incidence of high blood pressure. These people have several times increase in the incidence of heart attacks and when it occurs in children there are a whole lot of developmental abnormalities now what future will children have if there is no pure air to breathe if we take the onus of our waste at home itself and not allow it to get mixed up we can make a huge difference in making our cities clean and also improving the quality of the air that we breathe in the waste from our homes, almost 60% is kitchen and garden waste, which can create lovely compost for our soil. About 20% is paper, plastic, metal and glass waste that has good recycling value. Another 10% is electronic waste in the form of old batteries, bulbs, wires, mobile phones. It is really important for us to store our e-waste separately at home. But if we throw this in our bins, their toxic content can contaminate our soil and water. Finally, we are left with a 10% in the form of household sweepings, diapers, sanitary pads that cannot be composted or recycled. So this waste has to be sent to the landfills. Uh, the idea is to recycle whatever we can and use all our compostable waste, whether it is kitchen waste or garden waste. When you find a lot of dry leaves lying together, they get burnt and it comes back to us in the form of dirty air. So it's best to compost it and use it as a manure. We as a community felt strongly that uh, waste is our responsibility and we must find solutions for it. So we went for a simple natural system where all our horticulture waste and kitchen waste can be converted into compost. It's a very low cost system. We were buying close to about 50,000 rupees of compost. Now we're not buying any and we're using twice the amount. Earlier we were throwing away 225 kilos of kitchen waste every single day. And then we got down to composting and suddenly realized we had such a huge asset and it's a very high quality of compost. We are a condominium of 500 apartments and with not much spare area, we need to process everything and cure everything and make our composting in a very small area. We went in with a semi-mechanized uh, system to process our kitchen waste as well as our horticulture waste. It does definitely save about 60% of the waste you're generating from going out somewhere being dumped in a landfill or being burnt in the open somewhere which is just going to add to the already existing pollution. Composting is a natural process in which different microbes and organisms help to break down our kitchen and garden waste and it just cannot happen in a matter of a few days. So when you're going in for a composting solution, just make sure that you don't go in for something which claims that it can make compost in 24 to 48 hours or even a week because these are going to work like incinerators which are going to just burn your organic waste and uh, it's going to pollute the air that you, your children and our families are going to breathe. So please choose wisely.